there's a rack mount version of the product. Uh, we'll get to it later, but you see right here we have a rack mount version. It's essentially the same product. You see the display is very similar. It's essentially the same product put in the rack mount uh, unit. So this could be mounted in the truck and then the ASI output on the back of this could feed your satellite or your microwave. The unit having the ASI out also gives us the ability to bond um, uh, cellular and satellite. The unit actually has the ability to do a redundant transmission. One transmission over KA satellite while a second transmission over the eight cellular modem. So we can transmit over two separate paths simultaneously. In a, so in addition to that, uh, here on the, uh, on the uh, left, we have the four pin power connector. You can use uh, external power or you can connect the unit to uh, AC power with the included power supply. So the unit comes with uh, external AC power supply. And then, you know, typical broadcast grade equipment. Some of our competitors have uh, non-standard power connectors. We have an industry standard four pin uh, uh, XLR that plugs into the unit. So if we want to power the unit from, from AC power. Uh, otherwise, uh, we can hook the unit to battery power. And you can do a combination of both, AC and battery. You know, have one backing up the other. The AC input can also be, uh, the auxiliary uh, DC input, I should say, can also be a backup. So if we have the unit in a backpack, there's a lower compartment that could hold a second battery, and we can provide a D-tap to four pin XLR adapter cable so you can run the unit off of two batteries and then do a hot swap switch between batteries.